after getting drafted by the Jets and getting dealt on one of the biggest trades in draft history to the Dolphins. The Chinese man was ready to get started in training camp and battle it out for the starting job. Although the journey just began, we were already generating tons of buzz across the world. As no one could believe that a pair of Chinese parents would send their kid to play football instead of ping pong or badminton. More importantly, they could not believe that they let their kid transfer away from Stanford Engineering. I had to be the next coming of Tom Brady to do that. But I was thrilled to be a part of such a prestigious organization and was determined to do everything in my power to earn the starting quarterback job. I spent countless hours studying McDaniels' playbook, developing chemistry with my receivers, backs, and O-line. I was always the first one to arrive at practice and the last one to leave as I wanted to set the tone as the franchise QB and show that hard-working Asian mentality that my parents have instilled in but me. despite my hard work, I was facing tough competition for the starting Tua job. Tua was a star QB at Alabama who already had some great seasons buckled in the NFL. The only concern with Tua is that he has half his brain which left. Which is a huge reason why Miami brought me here in the first place. Teddy Bridgewater has also been a proven starter in the NFL and an extremely reliable backup quarterback. So I had to impress and convince the coaching staff throughout training camp that I deserve to be the starter week but one. most importantly, I had to make the most out of my preseason starts. Our first preseason game was against the Bucs. And Coach McDaniel has been only playing the first quarter as he wants to give fair opportunities to all three QBs. The Buccaneers start the game out with a field goal and here we my go. My first pass in the NFL is an out route to Tyreek Hill. Very questionable ball, but we go act like we meant to do Definitely it. Definitely some nerves going on right now as we take a terrible sack to Shaq Barrett. But we come back hitting the wide open hook to route. other speedster Jalen Waddle to move the chains. Todd Bowles is dumbfounded. We got 45 seconds left, so Coach calls a shot play here, and I find Gesicki wide open over the middle for a huge game. Which leads to my last play of the quarter. Can we cap off our first career drive with a touchdown? I throw the corner fade. The catch is made. Can he get his feet in? No. Fantastic ball placement by us, though, but just inches off from a touchdown. I go four for five, 73 yards in my first career preseason game. Coach McDaniel likes what he sees. As we move into our second preseason game against the Raiders, OC tells me that he thinks my only competition is Tua now as Teddy has fallen out of favor. So we are gonna both get a half each against the Raiders as I make my home debut. Hard Rock Stadium fans in the building are very familiar with my game as they saw me grow into one of the best collegiate quarterbacks at Florida. But the pressure is on now. Can I win that starting job for week that one. That is all that is on my mind and I start the game with the ball right by the linebacker's ear hitting my main man Tyreek Hill for a 17 yard game. Big third down here to keep the drive alive. I'm looking for the in route. What? I throw a brutal interception to Jonathan Abram. That has to be up there with me throwing that pick to that white DB. If you're throwing picks to Abram you should be filing for employment somewhere else. I thought I genuinely was going to quit football once he caught that ball but I go up and make a linebacker like that. I'm back in football baby. Matter of fact coach let me play both sides of the ball. We are back for our second drive, and for this second drive, I will not be having a scoreboard. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Not only are you watching the first ever Chinese QB in the NFL, but also the first quarterback to play without knowing the score, the clock, or the down and distance. So I had to improvise, finally showing my rushing ability with back-to-back -back rushes. The Raiders don't want to tackle me. So now we head into the second quarter, I, I think, and we are looking for our first career NFL touchdown. Coach calls literally the same exact play call the Seahawks do their pick on, but instead of throwing it, we pick it up with our legs. First career touchdown for the Chinese man. And let me hit my dad. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. There's a nice angle right here. Boom! Elite camera work. Third drive, and I still don't know clock and score. This game is just so amazing, all right? But play, action, pass, nice route concept by McDaniel, and I hit the wide open Gesicki to bring the ball in the red zone, which brings us to the goal line, rolling out to my right here. Buying time for my receivers, and I find a wide open Sed Wilson for our second touchdown of the half. Our half of football ends right there. Other than the interception, it was a great performance, especially with no ability to see clock down or distance at all. But now it is our last preseason game against the Eagles, and coach tells me that I get the full game. A big game and a win will most likely seal the starting job for us. Can we become the shot caller for the Miami Dolphins to start the season? First play of the game, I drop back here, and I make a ridiculous crossbody throw. No idea why I did that. There was absolutely zero pressure. But we'll take it, all right? Second play, I see the safety shift, which means one-on-one -on -one for Tyreek Hill. And ain't no way anyone is running with him. What a start to this game. As we end the drive off with a handoff to Chase Edmonds to go up 7-0. Late in the third, McDaniel wants play action. I see my guy Gesicki up the sideline. He makes the grab, shakes off the tackle all the way. 
Touchdown, Dolphins! And Coach has seen enough. He pulled me out after that drive. Which means one thing and one thing only. We have won the starting job heading into week one of the NFL season. The Chinese man is officially one of the 32 best quarterbacks in the entire world. I cannot believe it, all right? I was so happy. I had to call my mom to break the news, all right? I was just so excited to let her know. I was like, Mom, I'm a starter. I worked all off season for this. Son, what is a starter? We started explaining what a starting quarterback is because she doesn't watch football. Oh, I thought you started last year too. No, Mom. That, that was at Florida. Yeah, but you you still in Florida, no, Miami? Yeah, but I got drafted to the Dolphins, Mom. What What is draft? My mom thinks I'm still in college, all right? That's how badly she wants me to stay in school. I actually really wanted to visit her with my bye week, but I needed to prepare extra hard because my official NFL debut was right around the corner. You know, if it was the Lions or the Bears, then I probably would have flown home to Clarksville for the bye. But we are playing Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. Belichick is notorious for suffocating rookie quarterbacks, and I was not trying to be added to that list. So I stayed in Miami and practiced hard watched film doing whatever it takes to get this win i did not want anyone to think that i made it to this point by accident i wanted to show people that chinese players belong in the nfl so with what felt like an entire nation on my back we were ready to start our official nfl debut at home at the hard rock stadium i have never been this nervous for a football game in my life and i've played some pretty big ones i finally kicked down the doors into the nfl and running out of that tunnel to represent the dolphins and chills down my spine. But after two straight runs on first and second down, I make a terrible decision on third down. I could have easily picked that up with my legs. The nerves are definitely playing a factor right now. Hashtag Chinese players don't belong is trending on Twitter as we speak. The Patriots get a field goal, but I get my first first down of my career on a nice whip route by Sed Wilson. Third and ten here. That safety takes three steps in. Which means it's gotta be one-on-one for Tyreek. I gotta take the shot. Fred Baskin. Make way for the Chinese man. Cause he's here to take over the NFL All the way down to the red zone I'm rolling to my right Looking for options I don't see anyone open So I'ma do it myself With my legs Touchdown Dolphins Miami is absolutely electric right now As defense gets a quick stop Which gives us 13 seconds to leave the first half With even Third more. and 11 I have to take an end zone shot here I see Kasiki running the corner round And he comes down with it Sticky Kasiki with the win on the jump ball What a first half here in Miami As I am dicing Belichick's defense We end off with yet another touchdown here in the second half And we take down the Patriots 28-7 17 in our NFL debut. I get the game ball from Coach McDaniel as I throw for 311 and three touchdowns with 47 yards and a touchdown over the ground. And we start off the season 1 and 0 on our way up to Baltimore. I am about to play one of my football role models, Lamar Jackson, head to head. Late in the second half, down by 14. I've been struggling in the first half, going 6 for 9 for 69. But with less than 40 seconds left, we gotta do what Lamar does best. All I see is green grass ahead. Great block there by Waddle. And we get a big gain with the legs right before half. But can we make it six before halftime? High point ball up the seams. Stick take a second. That is disgusting. Touchdown Dolphins. That ball was right on the money. Perfect high point ball. And it is a seven point game here in the third quarter. I'm on the run. I try to make a play out of nothing. And we throw a terrible pick to Kyle Hamilton. Baltimore ends up converting a field goal and now we are down 10. I'm running my first NFL two minute drill. Trying to come back in this game. First and 10 here, I hit Gasicki in the flat, slowly becoming one of my favorite targets, and he draws a face mask call. That is huge. That call puts us on the seven, and we find a touchdown to Tyreek Hill to make it a three-point game with less than two minutes left. But then J.K. Dobbins takes it 75 yards, and that's game. We drop game two against the Ravens, and I look like a true rookie in this one. We go on one in our career against Lamar, but plenty to learn from this game, and hopefully we'll become AFC rivals years down the line. The games don't get any easier, though, as now we play division rivals. Rivals Buffalo matching up head to head against Josh Allen. Now, I was not gonna just back down from the challenge. That is not what Chinese people do. We gonna find a way to make a play. Look at that separation created by Tyreek. I throw the lob instantly and look at the yak. Stop playing one on one with that boy. Touchdown.
Dolphins. Next drive, I'm dropping it back in. Von Miller strikes. Sack fumble for a touchdown. My right tackle needs to learn Chinese. But we managed to get the Bills back with a beautiful ball to my favorite red zone target, Mr. Sticky himself. And it is a two-point game here late in the fourth. Third and 12th, biggest play of the game. Probably the biggest play of my career. I look for the deep end, but it is batted down, and we must settle for a field goal. And I had a weird feeling that one minute, 28 seconds was just too much time for Josh Allen. That feeling was correct as he drives all the way down in just 48 seconds for a touchdown. So now we gotta flash the deep ball, throw a couple of prayers down the field, and hope for a miracle. First throw, I'm looking for my boy Tyreek Hill once again. He looks like he kind of has a step. Whoa, hey! The ball got picked off, but hey, that guy, that's gotta be a B.I. ref! And surprisingly, the NFL refs actually weren't blind for once, and they made the right call. So now our chances of scoring have increased as we are now within the 30-yard line. 20 seconds left. I dart a high point ball down the seam. What a catch by Sen Wilson to tie the game. He catches it with his helmet. Oh my god, that is filthy. That catch right there sends the game into overtime. I am going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. But Buffalo wins the toss in overtime, which means a Josh Allen touchdown wins the game. Will we get another chance in this game? Can the defense get us a clutch stop? And they do. So here we go. Our first NFL overtime to defeat Josh Allen and the Bills. All we need is a field goal. We are already at midfield. Hey, action bootleg. I hit the wide open check down to Adam Shaheen. Fumble. I cannot believe that. No, no, no. He needs to get cut off the team. I know I'm a rookie and I shouldn't be making roster demands, but send Adam to China. And we drop the game against Buffalo 27 to 24. Although I outplayed Josh Allen, this was extremely frustrating. I felt like we could be 3-0 right now, even with playing against two of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Speaking of playing against the best, we play another elite quarterback in Joe Burrow. This time, however, we were on a short week as we are playing our first career primetime game, Thursday Night Football against the Bengals. And after Burrow starts out with a touchdown, I come out hot, going 6-for-6 six for, six for 60 yards. But I can't get this throw off on the boot, and we have have to settle for a frustrating three. 30 seconds left before half. I'm rolling out to my right and I jack up a prayer to Sed Wilson. Oh my god, Cedric! That is disgusting. This receiving corpse is absolutely insane as I thread the needle to Tyreek for another touchdown. That is throwing with anticipation right there, ladies and gentlemen. Show that film to the best quarterbacks across the nation. After pounding the rock all the way down the field in the fourth quarter, we come away with a huge win on primetime Thursday night football away against the Bengals. I outplayed Burrow in his own house and now I'm starting to pick up some confidence. But after dropping a close game against the Jets and missing a game winning kick against the Vikings, losing in overtime. The team was 2-4 and four headed into week 7, which is not what people projected us to be. We were not getting results and Finns fans were starting to doubt my game. However, it was the perfect time to put on a display in week 7. Sunday night football against the almighty Steelers defense led by TJ Watt, Cam Hayward and Minka Fitzpatrick. People were tuned in back home in China as most employees only get Sundays off from their 996 schedules. So I had to show out and ball to make them proud. We get a fantastic Fantastic start to the game, throwing four completions on the first drive, and wrapping it up with a slant to Tyreek to take the lead. However, we find ourselves down by seven in the second half. The Steelers defense is doing a great job of collapsing the pocket and making life hard on this me. This is easily one of the toughest defenses I've played all year, probably in my life. But thank God their quarterback is Mitch, which gives us an opportunity with 2.18 on the clock to win the game. Sunday night football, down by four against the almighty Steelers. Under all the lights, what will the Chinese man do? First and 10. I drop back and get sacked by TJ Watt. My right tackle needs to leave the country right now. Robert Hunt is the name, I believe, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's an absolute scrub. And so it's second and 20. I try to fit a ball up the seam, but it is dropped. Third down and 20. We need a big game. I find Waddle off the slant, but he is just short. So here we go. Fourth and five. 57 seconds left. Biggest play of the game. I know that pass rush is coming. I snap the ball and I'm looking for Sed Wilson. Thank Complete. And we drop our third straight game on prime time to the Steelers. The Dolphins start the year 2-5, and five, underperforming their expectations. It has been a rough start for the Chinese man. The NFL was not as easy of a transition as he thought it would be from college. Already being labeled as a bust, how will he finish out his rookie year? Will the Dolphins tank or will they make a late push for the playoffs? We will find out in the next episode.
Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button. So um, if you subscribe, you're pretty much Jeff Bezos.